My name is Dara Pollock and my handle is at SkinnyPigNYC. I was a dancer, like ballet, tap, all the classical stuff, and um, when I was 17, I actually got hit by a car. I nearly lost my leg from the knee down, but I did not, kept my leg, thankfully. Uh, but I was in the hospital for like a month, and uh, I was like bedridden for months after that. And when I was laid up, all I did was watch Food Network. I found watching people cook and you know make food, I found it very relaxing and it kind of soothed me. So it kind of became my new creative outlet since I was clearly not gonna be a dancer anymore. Um, that was my new passion, was uh, cooking and writing about food. Back when I was being a dancer, you know, I was like constantly dancing, eating all the time, and you know, when you're working out that much, you don't gain a lot of weight. And somebody saw me eating, I think, just cheese fries for lunch one day, like a bucket of cheese fries, and um, they were like, how do you eat all that and stay thin? You're like a skinny pig, and it just stuck, and I just ran with it. So I started the blog just as like having a new creative outlet in 2008 and I had taken a food writing class with Andrea Strong who's actually a very um, popular food writer and she was amazing and she kind of pushed me to start this blog and I started writing a lot about bacon like that was my thing is that I love bacon so <laughs> that was what I wrote about a lot initially and now it's just kind of progressed into recipes because I love to cook and uh, restaurants obviously and reviews things like that. I did this piece not too long ago about American cheese because I feel like American cheese is really like gets, gets a bad rep because it's not cheese. And I really like dove into this and I researched it and I found out exactly what American cheese is, what it's made from, and like why it's so good and why it's the meltiness of it is just perfect. And uh, it was a really fun piece to write because I got a lot of engagement on it, people being like, it's not cheese. And you know, it was just, a, it was a fun piece. <laughs> Social media has impacted um, the restaurant industry a ton, especially in the last few years. You can definitely create something that's specifically like made for Instagram and it will bring people in for that. We are at Clinton Hall and we are going to try their donut grilled cheese. Finding a good balance between those like crazy over the top dishes, but then also maintaining like a really great product throughout and really great service. And then you have a key to success right there. My big dream, you know, when I started this, was to have my own cooking show one day, so that would be the big dream cookbook and a show, Food Network, you know. <laughs> I love engaging with my followers, like, I think it's fun. I love when they ask me for advice, because I feel like that's what I'm here for. I got into this to, like, help people through food and inspire through food, so here we are.